In a previous video, you saw how to determine your own design definitions for your app using the design system object. This video will show you how to import into your Genexus app the design of full screens, specifying colors, fonts, and so on, as defined by digital app design professionals in Sketch, their usual working tool, and import that design into our Genexus application. You've agreed with the designer that you'll need an initial screen as the baseline for the remaining screens in the app. Another screen to view the list of tourist attractions available. And a third screen with details of a tourist attraction. These screens are defined by the designer. To the left, on top of the main screen, you'll see the app's logo and the menu with actions. Further below, there's a background image with a highlighted title on it. And below and to the right is a button to start a chatbot. Then there's a section with data on the travel agency. And underneath, four buttons to access the data on the entities that your app will be handling. And below the buttons, there's a footer with a red frame that includes a message and the links to social networks. In the screen in the middle, the logo's on top together with the menu, and a context image that includes a title and a chatbot button, followed by a grid with the tourist attractions available, and the footer. You'll see that many of these elements are also included in the third screen that shows the detail of one attraction, in this case, the Louvre. It's obvious that the designer has done a good job with the uniform appearance of all the screens that show a clear and clean way of presenting the information. This design was done in the tool the designer uses regularly, Sketch. Then a Genexus plugin installed in Sketch is used to create a file with extension GX Sketch, which is the one you receive. Genexus allows you to import this file created in the designer's tool directly into your KB, with all design elements automatically created in a design system object. Even the corresponding Genexus objects will be created with all the controls required for the app to function with the screens shown. To import the sketch file sent by the designer, go to Tools, Application Integration, and select Sketch Import. Select the GX sketch file to be imported. Add the name of the design system object where you want to save all the design definitions. The checkbox, Import as Web Panels, should be unchecked because you need to create panels and not web panels. Click on Load, and we see the dialog box with all the files to be imported. If you click on any of the panels that the import will create, you'll have its preview where you can confirm the match with the design validated. To the right, you're informed about the controls that it will contain. Note that also, the images will be imported to execute the panel with fixed data, allowing you to execute and verify that it's the functionality desired. Then you must substitute these fixed data with the data stored in your app's database. You agree, so you press OK. The output window shows the import's progress and the error-free results. In KB Explorer, you'll see that two folders were created, stencils containing several stencils used to encapsulate design in the app, and test data containing data providers and SDT to load fixed data, which will enable you to test the app and verify if the design is the one expected. Further down, you'll see that the design system object Travel Agency Angular Course has been created. If you open it, you'll see the tokens and styles that define the appearance of controls on screen. On the bottom, you'll find the panel objects you saw on the Import Wizard screen, which were created automatically, like the one of the home page, View Home, the one that shows the attractions, 
View Attractions. In the View Home form, you'll see that all components for the visual content, like tables, variables, and images, among others, are already included. All this was automatically created in the importing process, and the same goes for the View Attractions panel. If you open the View Home panel to see the variables, you'll find that the images were loaded through the initial value property by making reference to the images loaded in the import process into the KB. And if you go to Events, you'll find that the interaction between panels is also programmed, since pressing the Attractions button will invoke the View Attractions panel. Here you can see that a menu object was also created. By default, it would be the main object to be executed. Note that the app's other panels are invoked in the events. This object will only be seen in the generation for native platform, and in the case of Angular, the object seen first will be the View Home, which is the second option in the menu. To execute, set the View Home object as Startup object, and press F5. Note that the initial screen is executed, and it's just as the designer anticipated. When you click on Attractions, you'll see the list of tourist attractions of the travel agency. Remember that these you see are the fixed data loaded during the import. If you click on Louvre, a page with detailed information will appear, with a neat design that is aesthetically attractive. This example showed the development process of an application and the significance of teamwork with individuals of varied profiles, where each contributes to a better outcome in the solution. So far, you've dealt with fixed data for tests that the designers added to show the app's behavior with the new design. Now you'll make some changes in order to view the real data in your database. If you go to the events of the View Attractions panel, you'll see that the grid is loaded using a variable of the SDT type called view attractions grid attractions SDT and the data provider view attractions grid attractions DP. Now substitute the data provider load so that instead of taking fixed data, it uses the attributes from the attraction table and the country table. With the data provider, you do save as and save it under the name View Attractions Grid Attractions DP BD. Then you add the clause from Attractions and load the Attraction Image field with the value of the Attraction Photo attribute and to Attraction Location assign the Country Name attribute. and the attraction name field with the attraction name attribute. While the value of the attraction rating attribute should be assigned to attraction rating. Then proceed to delete everything that's not needed. Now go back to the view attractions panel and change the data provider that loads the attractions and replace it with the one you built. Then save right-click on the View Home panel, and select Run. If you go to Attractions, you'll see that you're going over the attractions you loaded in the database, including the Eiffel Tower and the Glenfinnan Viaduct, which were not in the fixed data. And if you paginate, you'll find all the attractions. When you click on Louvre, you'll see the page that includes the attractions details. The agency's request to show all tourist attractions has been fulfilled, but now the app has a more appropriate design. There's no doubt that when there's a designer available on the team, 
the work of writing the design system object from scratch by hand becomes absolutely unnecessary. Importing these definitions from Sketch solves the design in a more professional way, so you can focus on the functional part of your app. This working method that combines the design by a professional into your Genexus project implies several advantages because it optimizes efforts, allowing each team member to contribute in accordance with that individual's specific profile in relation to what she or he does best. Upcoming videos will deal with other aspects, such as adding security to your app or how to commission your app on the client's facilities.